What's up everybody and welcome back to another video on the SAT from the Scalar Learning Channel. And today we are talking about some major news that broke out this week regarding the SAT. There have been two major changes that have just been announced and the changes are as follows. Number one, there will no longer be SAT subject tests. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with the subject tests, they are in different categories like chemistry, languages, math. The College Board has gotten rid of these and now it's just the regular SAT. The second big change is that the College Board is eliminating the essay portion of the SAT. I have to say that over the years, my students have not been that excited or thrilled to take the essay portions. So I think for the most part, this is a welcomed removal. Now let's get into some of the details in terms of what exactly does this mean for you as a student. So just to give you a little bit of context, if we go back to 2017, nearly 1.8 million students took the regular SAT, but only around 200,000 took SAT subject tests. This fact alone already gives you an idea that not that large of a chunk of students who were taking the SAT were also taking the subject tests. One of the reasons that the College Board cited for removing the subject test was to now give more of those SAT taking spots to students who are just trying to take the regular SAT. The second reason given was that AP exams do a great job on their own of testing these additional subjects and skill sets. According to the College Board, students who are currently registered for upcoming subject tests for the SAT will have their registrations canceled and their money refunded. If you are outside of the United States, you will still be able to take these subject tests up till June of 2021. In my opinion, the removal of the SAT subject tests have two immediate ramifications. First and foremost, it makes your actual SAT score that much more important. So the good news is you can now allocate a lot of that time normally spent studying for subject tests to the good old regular SAT. The second ramification is that AP exams are now more important than ever. So if you do have the opportunity to enroll in AP classes at your school, I would highly recommend that going forward if feasible. Now in terms of the SAT essay, according to the College Board, you will still be able to take the essay portion if you want through June 2021. And if you did register for the essay but now wish to cancel that, you can do so at no additional charge up until the registration deadline. Now that the College Board is nixing the essay portion of the SAT, my assumption is that your college essays will now have greater weight in determining your writing abilities. Moreover, and again, this is just my opinion, but I also imagine that an AP English score would now be more relevant than ever. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please click that like button. And if you wanna see more from the Scalar Learning channel, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you guys so much for joining, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.